There are many oxidizing agents that will oxidize alcohols. In the case of ethanol, oxidation to ethanoic acid is quite common, but there are fewer reagents that will carry out the partial oxidation to the aldehyde, ethanol. Dichromates are commonly used for this, but they have significant health and safety issues and are also very bad for the environment. Another catalyst we're going to use today is copper 2 oxide. And a fun way of carrying this out is to use a copper coin, though a piece of copper foil or wire will do just as well. In contact with the copper oxide, hydrogen is removed from the ethanol to produce ethanol. The hydrogen reduces copper 2 oxide to copper 1 oxide and produces water. If there is air present, then oxygen will react with the hot copper 1 oxide, re-oxidizing it to copper 2 oxide, and the process can start again. You will need a small beaker or flask, and you'll need to find some way of being able to dangle your coin just above the surface of the liquid. Here I'm using a cradle made using a paper clip. This is then tied to a metal spatula with some wire and the length adjusted so it will dangle freely just above the liquid. Now we place some ethanol in the bottom of the flask and we're ready to go. We heat the copper coin strongly until it is close to red hot. Now take the coin out of the flame and as quickly as possible dangle it in the flask filled with ethanol vapour. The spatula sitting on top stops it falling in. After a while you notice bright patches flickering over the surface of the copper, more noticeable if the lights are turned down. If you carefully smell the vapours at the top of the flask you will notice a definite scent of ethanol. You can tell there is a reaction going on by the smell of the ethanol and the fact that the coin remains hot for far longer than if there were no reaction, even if the glow can be difficult to see at times. The reaction will carry on for as long as there is ethanol vapour present. 